Hi, I'm Rachel Fritz. I'm a parenting expert and parenthood coach with Parenting on Mars, and I have a really great offering for you this week. If it hasn't happened already, at some point in our children's lives, they will say negative words about themselves. And I want to give you something that you can hold on to and hopefully call upon when this happens with your child. We hear a lot these days from parenting experts and parenting influencers that we need to validate our children's feelings. And this can be really hard, especially when they're saying things about themselves that are quite frankly untrue or hurtful or harsh. So how do you validate that? I'm gonna tell you how. Now I'm big on authenticity, so you don't have to memorize this or say it exactly the way that I would, but something like, it makes sense to me why you're saying that. It makes sense to me that that's the story in your mind about yourself. And when you say the words in that way, it's not that you're agreeing with their, you know, assessment that, you know, I'm dumb or I suck or whatever whatever the harsh words are, but you are empathizing and validating their experience and how they've ended up with this narrative. Then once you've given your child an opportunity to express their experience and you've validated and um, expressed your own understanding for that experience, you can offer them a different way. You can offer them a way to move forward and sort of plant a seed um, so that this negative self-talk doesn't necessarily replicate itself in the future. And that could sound something like this. It makes sense to me that you came up with that story about yourself, but I want to offer a different idea here. What if we got really curious about this moment and really curious about what else might be going on instead of your dumb? This is also a great opportunity to educate them about what's going on in their brain. How when they feel a lot of emotional overwhelm, our children are taking that overwhelm that they don't quite know how to process and they're distilling it down into this like little box or this like little, you know, thing that then says like whatever the negative word is or whatever the negative self-talk is. And so by explaining that to them, it gives them some power that like they can, they can choose differently and they can use curiosity instead of resorting to, you know, the labeling. And when we open the conversation in those ways, it's going to lead to a lot more flow and a lot more authentic and open back and forth between you and your child. Give it a try. I would love to know what you think. You can contact me through my information here.